Hey, South Jersey, it's meteorologist Joe Martucci. I think this map perfectly explains what's happening on our Tuesday. Yes, we have high pressure. Yes, we're going to be dry, but it is going to be a more humid day because we're going to have southeast winds around that clockwise spinning high pressure system. So dew points are going to be in the mid to upper 60s. It's kind of a dew point purgatory. It's not dry, but it's not quite humid. As we go into Wednesday, it will be humid, and that is our autumn equinox. It will be at 3.21 p.m. That is when the sun's rays will go directly over the equator, making its way southward towards the Tropic of Capricorn. We have a little more than 12 hours of daylight, and this is always a good thing to explain on the equinox. It's not perfectly 12 hours of daylight. The reason for this is because the sun is a disk, not a point, so the sun is large. And as it sets across the horizon, well, it's not just one point where once it's down, it's gone. Of course, you have the bottom of the elliptical, the sun's disk that's going down below the horizon, and the top of the disk going below the horizon. That's how you add up to 12 hours and 8 minutes of daylight here. So they are equal in duration at the equator, but not necessarily as you make your way, again, north of the equator, like where we are here around 39 degrees north latitude. Looking at our late week setup, we have the jet stream, the river of air that separates two air masses going right overhead our area. This is also considered the storm track here, and that means we're going to be talking about showers and storms as we go into the later portion of the week. We are talking about potential for thunderstorms as well, but this is going to be highly dependent on what time the front crosses and just how much juice this cold front has as well. There will be rain for a few hours on Thursday. So, if you have outdoor events, yeah, it'll probably be better to move them to Wednesday or to Friday. But that being said, it's not going to be a washout. In terms of severe weather, the potential is there. But it goes like this. If these thunderstorms come during the afternoon or evening, then we're talking about probably a medium risk for damaging winds and a higher threat for damaging hail as well. If these storms come during the morning or they come during the overnight hours, then it's going to be a low risk here in that's kind of where I'm hedging at this time here. I think regardless of the time of day, flooding rain should be a low threat. Here's our bus stop forecast for Tuesday. Temperatures rising through to 60s here. Some fog around. Comfortable though otherwise. And it'll be a nice afternoon. Jeans and a t-shirt will do as we go into our Tuesday. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 70s here. As we go into our Tuesday for highs, winds coming from the east-southeast, turning to the south and east with water temps 70 to 74 degrees. Our dew points are going to be pretty close to that in the mid to upper 60s. But if you do want to go out onto the sand here, we're talking about a burn time of 20 minutes. We have an onshore wind, so we're not going to get any flies here. Surf heights are 3 to 4 feet here with a moderate risk for rip currents. We already had one fatality, unfortunately, in the past couple of days in Ocean County around Seaside Heights from these rip current risk and the fact that there aren't many beaches with lifeguards present so do make sure you only swim where the lifeguards are present and they say it is safe to do so tuesday night's gonna be a balmy night here falling through the 70s during the evening overnight lows only around 70 that's more like an early august night rather than a late september night here some areas of fog will develop and as we go into wednesday it's gonna be a drizzly day with some cloud cover at times otherwise it's warm here Temperatures around 80 degrees on the mainland, upper 70s at the shore. Here's a look at our mainland seven-day forecast. Showers and thunderstorms for Thursday, but not a washout. You will have dry time. Then as we go into the weekend, we'll flip on over to the shore seven-day. Looking fantastic for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Maybe it's a little too cold to be comfortably out on the beach in just a bathing suit, but... You know, as long as you brought an extra layer and you enjoy the sunshine, I think you're going to be perfectly fine to hang out by the bay or by the pool or by the beach or really just hang out anywhere as we go into our last full weekend of September. We'll be back with you at 6.30 tonight. We're going to talk to you more about that cold front coming through with the thunderstorms. Hopefully I can get some good timing for you on that. And meanwhile, we're always here at pressofac.com slash weather or you can give me a follow on social media.